Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about summarize function in Power BI DAX. This is one of the important function in the DAX queries. First of all, what is the purpose of summarize function? Then we'll go to the practical implementation. So first of all, the summarize function is the one which is going to return a table, which is going to return a table. It is going to return a table based on set of rules. So what are those rules? See, those rules are based on the list of columns. So let us say you want to identify the sum of the totals based on a year. So that time you need to provide the column name which you are planning to sum and on what basis you want to sum it. Let us say indirectly I can say it's a kind of group by operation. So when I apply a group by operation, it is going to calculate the sum of the values based on the group by columns. In the same way, my summarize also works, but little difference we have in between that. Let me show you how to work with a summarize practically. So before that, let me show you what are all the tables which I am planning to use for my example. So if you go to the SQL Server Management Studio. In this example, I am planning to use AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2012. So if you see the table list, the first table which I am planning to use, dim date. It's a dimension table which contains the date related stuff. So this is a date related stuff. Next one is dim product which contains the product related information. Next one is a product category which contains the product category related information. The next one is product subcategory. This is also dimension table. So it is going to give the product subcategory related information. Last one is the fact table. The name of the fact table is fact reseller sales. So these are the list of tables which I am planning to use for my example. If you count the list of tables, total four dimension table and one is the fact table. So let me use all these five tables for my example. So let me open a Power BI window. So if you see in the Power BI, first of all, I need to load all those five tables into the Power BI in memory. Then I am, then I can start the summarized stuff. So let me open a Power BI, let's close this and let's get the data SQL server. Near my server name is dot slash SQL 2012 and okay. Here I am not providing database name. Why? Because I can select the database name in the next level. So here this is the database name. I am expanding. So once you expand, you can see the list of tables which are available under this database. So let's select the tables which we already discussed. Dim date, dim product, dim product category, dim product subcategory. Next one is fact reseller sales. Yes. Now, once you select all the tables, let's click on load. So once you click on load, so based on the size of the table, it takes a while to load that data into in memory of the Power BI. Let, let's take a while. Yes, it, it is almost ready now. Now I am going to create a summarize table. As I told you that summarize is a DAX function which returns a table. So it is not a single value, it is a table. Now to return a table, to capture the table, so you need to go to the modeling tab. Under the modeling tab, there is a new table. Let's click on this option. So this is a place where you can create a table in the Power BI window. So there are a couple of DAX functions which are going to return a table as output. So that time you need to use new table. So if it is a column, you can create a new column. If it is a single value, you can go with a measure. So now my output is a table. That is the reason why I am going to click on a new table. As I told you that summarize is a function which returns a table. Let's click on new table. So once I click on a new table, by default name of the table would be table. So I am going to make it as a summarize table. Let's keep it like that summarize the table. Summarize table. I, I just named as a summarize table. I can give whatever the name I want. I can give X, Y, Z, whatever the name I want I can give. Now I am going to start the 
summarize related stuff once you see once you open summarize you can see the description so if you see the description create a summary the input table grouped by the specified columns as i told you it works little similar to the group by but not exactly now let me start here it is expecting some columns and some tables as well once you open a summarize parenthesis it is asking for a table name my table name is reseller sales fact reseller sales comma next one is on what basis do you want to group i want to group the data based on the date related column so that is the reason why i am taking the date from the dim date so i want to group i want to sum the information based on the calendar year i don't want to go with a quarter or semester let me go with a calendar year so comma do you want to use any other columns to apply a group related stuff yes i am planning to go with it that the one is product subcategory name product subcategory name english product subcategory name otherwise i'll go with it let me make it that name english product subcategory name yes english product subcategory name yeah english product category name, that is fine let's go with it so let me maximize this so that you can see all the stuff which i which i wrote here okay now if you understand very clearly i am planning to group the data based on these two columns so i am planning to sum i am planning to apply a sum based on the dim date calendar year and dim product category dim product category english product category name and what are all the values you want to sum so first of all i need to put a title so i am going to make it as sales amount sales amount comma this is the title of the uh, sum amount actually okay and what column you want to put it so i want to uh, sum the sales amount from the fact table sum of sales amount if you see this once once i type sale it automatically shows the the values which contains sales so here fact we sell a sales of sales amount comma you want to apply summation for any other column yes you can apply how many columns you want let me close the parenthesis that's for some parenthesis okay next comma so i want to apply a sum for other columns numerical columns which are there in the fact table so that is nothing but a discount amount discount amount and let's close that uh, double quotes and comma so that is the title for the next uh, value next now i am going to write as sum of fact reseller reseller sales of any other column discount amount okay now let's close the parenthesis so if you see any other column if you want to apply you can do that this is for the discount amount that is for the sales amount so now i close the parenthesis for the sum and i have one more parenthesis is open for summarize let me close that for summarize yes now if you close this it it's all done now the syntax for the summarize is all done so if you want to add any other columns you can add it if your table contains any other numerical columns you can do that so let's enter it it means that it is creating a table with a name of summarize table which is going to create a table with a column names of calendar year product english product category name sales amount and discount amount if you see in the bottom you can see the table so calendar year english product category name sales amount and discount amount you see first for 2005 bikes 2006 bikes 2007 bikes 2008 bikes so i have only 4 years of data in my database so all the for 4 years i can see the product related information here and next 2005 components 2006 components 2007 components like that clothing and accessories so i can see the sales amount as well as i can see the discount amount now i can use this table information for any visualizations so let me go to the visualizations here and let's take any visualization let's take a bar or something like that now let's keep it as a calendar year as axis it not in the value let's keep it as axis and i can take it as a product uh, product uh, in the sales amount yes if you want to add a product as well you can do that yes if you see this this is how i can see the year wise product wise sales year if you want to add a discount you can do that even yes the discount also added now all the four so that is the tool tips added if once you hover it you can see the discount here discount is something 2760065.99 this is how we are going to represent the data in the visualizations the data is already filtered data is already 
manipulated by using summarize options that summarize the table i can use in any visualizations not only here i can use the data for table as well so here i can select those here so i can see here this is let me increase the font size or something like that otherwise it will be very difficult to understand let me increase the font size let me go here and increase the font size values or something like that let's come here uh, values so this is how we apply styles and all it is up to us so what style you want you can do that okay so titles also you can increase it so finally summarize is a option summarize is a dax function which returns a table based on the list of columns so if you see this the result is whatever the columns you specified these are the list of group by columns the highlighted columns are the group by columns and these are the manipulated or calculated columns calculated something like that so now if you change data in the original tables this table will also automatically reflected those changes once you refresh that so this is how we apply a summarize function in the power bi desktop that's it thank you for watching so if you have any questions in the power bi dax msbi please write a mail to training to sql at the rate gmail.com also provide please your valuable feedback in the youtube comment section thank you